All right, so to connect a button to wherever you want to connect it, you will just find that button on your page and then click on it. And when you click on it, you get your different options. This little link button is what you want to click to tell Wix where you want that button to direct a visitor to. So you are trying to connect this button to another page on your website. So that would be one of your pages. So select page, and then it's asking you which page. Um, this is a little drop down button, so you would just select where you want it to go, have it open in your current window if it's staying on your website, and then click done. Um, you also want to update what this text says. So the options for that button are still selected, so you can just click change text, and then you would change it to whatever you want by just typing view portfolio. I just did it for you and I'm going to save it, but I'm not going to publish it. So if you want that to be visible, then just go ahead and publish. And then the other question you had was about um, what happens when you click on one of your pictures. Um, if I go into preview mode right now and I'm on your portfolio page, I can see that when I hover over, I'm given the option to there's like that little heart button and then I can see the title of it there. So that those little details are determined by the settings for that gallery. So to adjust those settings, you want to select the gallery. I can see I'm selecting the Wix Pro gallery and then I want to click this settings button. And what that will do will let me it will let me see like all of the actions and settings for this gallery. So I can determine what happens when you click on an item and my options are for it to open. Uh, you can have it open in full screen. You can have it open like a link that goes off of your website or you can have nothing happen. So choose whatever option you want here. I think open in full screen. Let's see if that still displays the title of the. Okay, so that doesn't that takes away the um, excuse me, the title of the uh, picture, but it still allows you to expand it, so that might be a good setting. Um, let's go back in here into these settings and say, for instance, you don't want that little heart to display. While you are kind of hovering over, you can turn that heart icon on and off with this little toggle button. Um, and there are other settings in here as well that you can kind of check out. Um, but you can see that by turning off that heart icon and then changing what happens when you click onto a photo. Um, now when I hover over, I don't see a heart. And then when I click on a picture, it's just going to expand it into full screen without the um, title of the picture or the file displaying. So that is that. I'm also going to save this change, but I won't publish it so that you can go in and take a look for yourself. And then if everything looks good, go ahead and publish it and those sites will, or those changes will be live.